Hey everyone, it's the Dak coming at you with the speed paint of this Anali Vulture from the Storm Sunder Heirs of Ruin board game. Uh, we'll have a link in the description for their Kickstarter. As you can see, I'm just going to start by hitting the whole thing with a contrast of Skeleton Horde. So, uh, you know, it's a buzzard, but buzzards are pretty dirty and nasty. Uh, so, like, a lot of brown. I'm going for that, like, really earthy tones with this one. Um, if, you're, if you think, uh, a, you know, something close to Blanchitsu, you're not far off. All right, so we got that down. It's dry. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit the eyes with some Corax White because I want to bring those up again. Go ahead and hit the teeth. Going to pluck out those teeth. Uh, you know, probably hit the tongue a little bit while I'm at it. And now I'm going to just go through and I'm going to try to hit it with a light highlight all across the body. Try to pick out those spots in the darker areas like uh, where the Zenithal Prime didn't hit. On top of the wings, um, you know, just some of those deeper bits. Uh, obviously you want to hit the ends of the claws and the toes. Uh, and a big part is going to be plucking out some of the detail on those wings here. Um, just giving a little brush. You don't have to be too too finicky with it, too gentle. Mostly just trying to bring out some color and some of the detail. Because uh, we're going to go back over that um, later. Now what I'm going to do is I did want to make this a little darker. So I went ahead and I started hitting it. Uh, with another layer of skeleton horde contrast and right here on the flesh that is actually Reichlin flesh shade so I just am putting that Reichlin flesh shade uh, right over the um, the skeleton horde and it's starting to create this pretty nice effect where it's looking kind of pinkish and fleshish you know like getting that kind of fleshy tone so I'm just going through and plucking out all the parts of their flesh tone that are right, now it's time for the Argax so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going through I'm hitting it with Argax this is for the wings to make them darker and differentiate them a little bit from that uh, kind of pinkish skin tone. So I'm just going through and, and it won't hide our detail work too much. Now as you see there, I'm actually going over it again with another shade of, uh, another hit uh, round of Reichlin Flesh Shade and then another round of Argax Earth Shade after the first one's dried. This makes a starker contrast between the two colors and then I'm going to go ahead and go through uh, with a highlight. That particular flesh tone is actually um, it's Reichlin Flesh Shade and a little bit of Corax uh, White. And I just like it because it's like kind of pink and kind of gross looking and it's going through because this is, it's a vulture, right? Like they're not clean animals. Uh, they're, they're nature's garbage men, right? Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to pluck out uh, some of the, some more highlights on the wings with a little bit of white, like a little quick dry brush just to, you know, and just trying to hit those raised areas. And now I'm going to hit the eye with Corax White again. All right, so we got some spooky eye going. Now I'm gonna hit it one more time with white scar to really bring out the color. That's gonna give us our like that spooky monster eye, like maybe it's maybe undead. It's it's not a healthy bird. So there you have it. This model has a lot of great detail that really makes it a joy to paint. We'll be painting some more models from Storm Sunder over the next week. Make sure to check out their Kickstarter in the description, and I'll see you next time.